I just built my wife a new workstation setup for her arts and crafts projects. This is actually the old setup right now. Uh, what I've got is a Surface Pro 4 with a regular monitor and the Microsoft OEM brick dock here. Now this is a pretty good setup which she had before. Uh, the issues we found with it uh, were that, you know, because the Surface Pro screen is down low and the regular monitor is up high, you're constantly looking back and forth and it kind of strains your neck a little bit. Um, and then there's this other problem where if you have a window and you drag it across the threshold between screens, uh, there's this artifact where you see everything here is a little small everything here is large and then something changed and so that's a little distracting especially when you're multitasking with a lot of different applications so that's something I wanted to kind of solve and smooth out the experience. Now this is Windows 10 Creators Update it's got all the latest Windows updates so we still have this issue with the multi-monitor uh, code in Windows 10 and when you drag a window across that threshold. So again this is a pretty cool setup but I want to do a little better, so I'm going to show you that right now. Um, there's one other thing that kind of irked me about this setup, is that you have this brick dock sitting on the desk and these wires taking up space. Um, you know, I just didn't like that. So we're going to get rid of all that stuff. We're going to throw that over here. And instead, what we're going to do is change the setting on the monitor here. Um, we're going to dock the Surface Pro 4 right next to the monitor. Now, this is just a regular monitor. This is um, an Asus 1080p monitor. Uh, it's an IPS screen, so it's nice and bright. Matches the Surface Pro 4 really well. Now, the size is 21.5 inches, so the sizing matches up brilliantly with the Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 3, and of course the brand new Surface Pro 2017. And what you can see here is when we're dragging a window across, I've done a tweak to the Intel graphics driver so that you don't get that crazy artifact when you drag across the threshold between the two screens. Everything is just smooth. Um, and, you know, a cool thing you can do is, you know, because this is a touch screen over here, you know, you can see how smooth that is. It's just a nicer experience. and because you know everything's off the desk because there's no clutter um, you know what I'm not showing here because it's off screen we've got a keyboard tray so we've got a keyboard uh, and a mouse which makes it much easier to navigate and because the Microsoft brick dock it has four USB 3.0 ports two on the front two on the back so you can plug a lot of stuff in you know it's really easy to use the ones in the front you just plug in here we've got a uh, Nokia Lumia 1020 phone. Uh, my wife uses a ton of USB devices. She's got a CNC vinyl cutter over here. She's got a 500 gigabyte USB hard drive, a DVD-ROM drive, speakers. I mean, you name it. She's she's got it plugged in. She does some crazy work with her arts and craft projects. Uh, but again, you can see this experience where you just drag a window across, and you can have one window over here. Let's start up another one. Uh, you, know, you could have your fun stuff over on the small screen of the Surface Pro and then something you know more important that you're working on uh, on the larger screen. And when you got to run to a meeting, you got to head out, uh, undocking is really simple. You just grab the Surface and go. It's really that simple. And the same with docking. You just drop it in and immediately you can see the LED indicator showing that it's charging. This little tab here is just for additional security. Um, so it really gives you a nice desktop replacement experience with the Surface Pro lineup. Uh, again, the components are, we just have a regular monitor. This is about $100. Of course, you got the Surface Pro. It's a premium laptop, pretty pricey. The Microsoft Brick Dock. There's a standard uh, dual screen vase mount behind here. Um, you know, they go for anywhere from $30 to $300, depending on the options you want with your vase amount. Uh, but it really gives you an ergonomic experience.